Wait, why? Why is it not? Please tell me I've got my shield on. Thank you. Yeah. Right, let's go. I'm right next to the <laughs> this is nest. Since I need to do it again. Also, the best thing to do is always best looking buildings because of the cash registers. If you've got a cash register in the building, it's always got points. So it's like it's pretty much just a free. Sometimes it's always a hundred. So it's like. Wait, am I? I don't know. I am. I might as well just use this, Anna, really. So then it's pack a punch. But luckily, Move to the objective. luckily the kills still count towards it, even if it's still pack a punch. For the 250 kills. So the zombies can still hit you if you've got a shield on. Well, you still you still get damage, but it looks like it's the damage is reduced. So, complete at Outlast contract. There we go. Contract marked. Why, why would that be funny? I still find it great though when you pick up when you pick up the contract. 
Yeah. You instantly turn into the per you instantly turn into the glitch. Why well, it's not really a glitch. It was the the good old uh, care package. Try to find Barrera's missing team. Strat on original Modern Warfare 2 where you run you ran round as fast because you had like a very, very lightweight. Our designated target is playing host to a bunch of phase crystals. Corruption looks to have taken hold pretty good. I doubt the good doctor is hiding among these phase crystals. Clear them out, then we'll work out our next steps. So it's this one, is it? So it spawns a bunch of zombies. But yeah, at least it kind of makes sense that you get hurt if you've got the riot shield on. It's since like you could just stand there forever since the shield can't get broken. But you do take damage, but I'm pretty sure it, the damage is reduced if it hits the shield. I'm gonna say, I don't know how the hell I, did, I survived all that, but. This is what you need. Area is secure. Toss the place. Dr. Johnson seems resourceful. With luck, she would have left us a clue as to her destination. We've come too far to leave empty-handed. Find something useful, team, or you'll be walking back to base. What is it about scientists and their tablets? Dog, Let me think it then. Whatever data you can get off that thing. Peter, Jansen's left instructions for splicing into a secure terminus comms link. We'll need to physically access a hardline at one of their bases. Team, get that device into Barrera's hands for forensic analysis ASAP. Exfil your asses home. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't ex villain yet. Uh. This armored truck gonna come down this bridge. It is. Come over the bridge. Zombies, don't just attack me, you know, there is other people. Sample from that ugly troublemaker I just tagged for you. Copy. 
Why can't all the everything just be so close? It's being far away. Oh, this will, I thought this would kill us for a sec. Oh, take that though. Take the good old gauge device. Oh, have a look. Careful. Of everything, the mimics are probably the ones that's got the most health. Well, to be fair, my car my car is a bit dead, so it would be better if I did pay. Ooh. Yeah. Because that car is a bit screwed. I'm nearly dead. Getting a sample of 
that target's gun would really put the V Am I right? I've just realized it actually tells you what it is. Eliminate the thingy. It says it there on the left. The actual challenge. Challenge, I should say. Mission. Magla, is that what it says? Nice, there's the 250 kills. So when I exfil this game, and then do the thing again. Make sure I don't go down. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can repair cars. You just need to go to gas stations, petrol stations. Which is kind of ironic because this is literally one right here. Well, I've got to. Well, I don't have to kill with right shield anymore, but I might as well use it because I still personally think the right the melee weapons on this are so underrated. But yeah, when you're next to a petrol station, you can see it. It's on the map. There's a lot I'll show you. Cars damaged. But and then you come here. You come to a. It does that, and then it's repairing it up. I don't even know. You know what? Let's do a thingy. Move to the objective. Probably. To be fair, this is kind of a bad idea. Go into a bandit uh, mercenary. There's Popper. There's Deadshot. Uh, there's Drug. Prip revives all the way on the other side of the map. Literally. But yeah, Crit Revive, Crit Revive works like, like how they changed it on Cold War. It gives you fast health regeneration, so it's like, it's a no-brainer. But without a doubt, I say the best perks, without a doubt, the best perk that you could get on this is Flopper. Flopper is without a doubt the best perk. 
It's the only perk you need. Especially when you're doing bandit camps. Well, when you're doing mercenary camps, I should say. Yeah, there's big bosses, but you've got to you've got to work towards it. Well, to be fair, the the abomination is on it because but it, it spawns in the middle bit in the tier three. But, and there is there is like a main boss boss, but you've got to work your way towards it. You've got to complete the main missions to get the tiers. I mean the axe, complete the axe, and it's on axe three. Yeah, speed colors, but, but yeah, but since this is like a whole different thing, it's a great example. It's this what I'm doing right now. Flopper with this, if you've got because. Flopper works the same as it's always been, as. You don't get hit by explosives. And if you've got a grenade launcher, you can literally just go into the mercenary camp and literally just shoot the grenade launcher everywhere. And it, you pretty much just, they just died like within five seconds. Because it's literally like the best combination you can have. If you want to take out a mercenary camp, you just get a grenade launcher with flopper. That's another L for terminus outcome. And Good work. you can just wipe the camp out so fast. Yeah, it does, and it's like even with dogs, it's like oh, like with the dogs, it's even like if you've got molotovs and whatnot, it doesn't hurt. And saying that, a flop is right there. And since I've got enough, I've got a load of points, might as well buy it. But uh, um. But the, the only thing that they've changed, the only thing that they've changed, you need to actually, uh, you, get, you don't get four damage if you actually dive. If you actually drop, if you just jump off somewhere, you actually take damage. So I'll show you. Like there, I took damage. I took four damage, a little bit, a little bit of four damage. So you take four damage now. So if you normally jump off somewhere, you take four damage. For it not to hurt you, you've actually got to. You've got to dive. You've actually got to dive, and you get no four damage. And it's like say, look, since it's flames as well, it doesn't hurt you. Level 55.
Where's the last remaining crit? Uh, I've got death perception. What I think they need to do as well, whenever you you come in, whenever you come in places like this and you've got death perception, it does show you where they are. But I think they should make it so it in it it shows up as a different colour for the actual nests. It's giving me everything now, isn't it? And saying that, I totally forgot I've been dead shot. Ooh, is it? They're coming straight past me. Cluster It's like now. If I had a grenade launcher or a launcher, I could just blow them all up. Yeah, I did. It generally does seem like a waste of time sometimes doing these though because you literally get nothing for doing them. As you say, the main thing that you get is literally a armoured car. But, uh, stronghold. That's affected. So. What one though? It is! Stronghold marked. Go to the stronghold, shall we? And there's literally a dude with a riot shield right there. Stronghold ahead. Terminus won't give it up without a fight. We'll accept reinforcements if you choose to engage.
gonna need armor, or I'm gonna die. Oh, no. What are you doing? Get out. Stronghold secure, but it may not stay that way. Get what you came for and get out. You just had to get me to get it. Yeah. All the weapons it gives me, it gives me javelin. <laughs> oh no, because the, the, the riot shield is my main weapon, isn't it? So it might, it might bugger it up or whatever. Dobbs here. Looks like Terminus wants to go another round. There's no way I'm running around. Good find team. Legacy's been operating with impunity. About damn time. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've got. You know what? Stuff it. I'm pretty sure I have got. Riot shield in my thing. Changing mag. Anyway, what does this legacy unlocks legacy fortress doors? Pretty sure that mule kick isn't in this game. No, it's not. Which is a shame, because I generally fall. Is is around it? Oh, 
there is a pack a punch all the way on the other side. Oh no, there's a pack a punch right there. But it's in the tier three zone. Yeah, Mule Kick's not on this. Because I genuinely thought the reason why Mule Kick wasn't on this is because of the level three backpack, since you can store a weapon, but it's same again. Because I've got a level three backpack and you can't store a weapon, which I'm very surprised they've not done. Since like you could get you could get level three backpacks on uh, DMZ and you could store a weapon. And I reckon it would have been kind of cool, unless if it's the reason why they didn't do it, is because um. Because they've, they've, they've made it like DMZ. When you haven't got a weapon unlocked, you can just exfil with it and then you unlock it. But then it's like that's like a good way to get guns. You can just run around and um, thingy. So it's like this situation that I'm in at the minute. I can keep my riot shield, get the javelin, and put it as my storage weapon, as my level for is my backpack, but obviously I can't since that's not a thing. Unless if they bring it further down the line, but probably not though. Because it just seems a bit strange on why it's not even on the game. I wonder, because they're level 3 zombies. Yeah, pretty much mine as well. Actually, my, my three, my three, well, I say my four, the four main perks that I used to do was Deadshot, Juggernaut, Speed, and Double Tap. I never brought, and obviously until they brought out, since they changed, like, crit revive so your health regenerates faster, plus, when obviously Cold War and whatnot, they made it so you could basically have unlimited perks, so there's no perk limit, but... My main four perks is Deadshot, Double tap, slide of hand, and jump. Stuck on the roof. 
Mate, there's a lot of zombies there. Because the game's lagging. There's a lot of zombies on that roof. Because the, ga the game was lagging. Javelin's already level three. Oh, level two, I should say. Oh yeah, it's all right for you to come through the wall, but I can't. I can't through that. What's my favorite weapon category? Easily, I've said I've I've been I've been saying this for years. I've been playing zombies since World at War. Um, I still say to this day, I still say to this day, the snipers, the snipers on zombies are so underrated. The, the snipers are so underrated. And it's the same with... Especially now, since the, it's like turned... Since Cold War, where it's turned into like the tier stuff. Legendary weapons, and you can pack a punch. Especially on this, if you've got... A level 3 pack-a-punched weapon. I mean, melee weapon. Right shield, knife, or whatever... And you've obviously, and they're also legendary variant. You can literally destroy nearly anything. I say the one thing that I dislike though about whoa, eliminate target. You get five. Why am I getting five k? Um. I'm gonna say though after this, I'll have to go. Where's the gas? Gas is the top left, so fine. Um, the javelin. It's literally the javelin. It's even that javelin. This this is actually the first zombies to actually have the javelin in the game. Or am I thinking? No. Was was the javelin on Cold War? Was the javelin on Cold War? Or was the weapon like it?
Also, just to let you know, the voice actor who did Nikolai, he did the voices for this, for the mark for the Moila. Mangler, sorry. I'm only saying that though is because when he when he growls, it sounds like Nikolai when he used to do his his growling when he when you heard him. It's like in the Blood of the Dead um, intro but scene when he night when he throws the axe, even when he throws his axe at the zombie on Origin. Right, need to get to an Xville. Let's go. Armored boat mark. Oh, I got, got a choice of two rockets. One blue, one green. Oh, there's a buggy right here, but it's right next to a mercenary camp. That's the cool thing if you've got a pack of punch javelin. Since you've got three bullets, you can shoot them all at the same time. Oh yeah, I think the announcer for this though, it does sound like thingy. I forgot, I forgot his name now. Nah. The Forsaken, that's it. It still sounds like him. Which it obviously can't be since we trapped him inside that device. Well, I should say. I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Sophia, that's it, Sophia. Is it Sophia? No, it's not Samantha. It's Sophia, the ball. Because when you played on the Forsaken on the last map, the big ball thing that get when when you put him inside, it's Sophia. That's it's because that's what that's what Max has put Sophia's brain into into the machine. But obviously, since this is a whole different timeline, this is a whole different universe. And obviously, Max is in ripped up and not alive. But... Wait. 
That chopper was glitched. That chopper was glitched. That chopper was glitched. It didn't. It. It, it did that before when I was playing with one of my mates. He called in the chopper, but I wasn't there when he did it. I came to, jumped on the chopper. EX build, he disappeared, but I didn't, and then the chopper just carried on. It took me out of the map, and then I died, and I lost everything. This is why you need decoys. Give me a decoy grenade or something, please. So I can shoot my javelin. Because this is why they needed to make it so you don't have to target onto things on zombies. Why is this a thing? Why am I too close? It shouldn't be a thing. I'm pretty sure I've just sh I just shot like the biggest gun. Don't worry, I'll get you one. Changing man. Pretty sure I just shot the like the biggest dud of a javelin shot. I shot it. It it didn't even come back down. Ooh. There was no explosion. Right, keep that in. Don't really care about this. Oh, I've just realised I've nearly done all. I'm on the I X. Oh, I'm on. I'm on the last mission. Nice. So I'm on the last one for X one. So I was right. I was right. If you if you've got a weapon on your insured slot, if you've got a weapon and then you drop it, you have to wait for it to recover. Well, the, you just need to wait again. But luckily, I've got right. I, I found some bright shields anyway, so I'm fine. Um, I don't know what to do now, though, since... I need to do this. And also, I'm level 55. Reach level 55. It's not unlocked.
There we go. Nice. Reach level 55. Uh, so that means I don't care about this mission at the minute. Uh, why have I got a feeling though it's automatically going to like do something because this is like an it's like an important mission and why the hell is it putting people in my lob when I clearly don't want that so I need to get 100 kills now with the, with the riot shield This is like the main, it's the main goal. Because then when I've done this, the riot shield, I've done all, I've got all gold for the melee weapons. And then that's when I'll do the thingy mission because I might as well, because I'm pretty sure the next mission, since I can't go on my, my weapon, since I can't check, well I can. Yeah, in zombies get get 300 kills with whilst it's pack a punch. So then I can start again from because if I go on the modern warfare weapons, it automatically takes me back to the main menu. Have I got a feeling that this is going to be like a special mission because you can't be saying that. I know, so it's just. Oh, where am I? Oh. So it's just like a normal mission, though. I thought it would have been like a special mission since I have to find the scientist. So where is she on the map? Deployed to a coordinates. Where are they? Right. Who the fuck should have appeared on the map? Or do you think I need to do like uh, an escort mission? Anyway, we're not doing that in a minute. I need to get these under kills and then next.
Oh, that's it. I would love to go and do it, but since the camos, since the challenges, how many is that? I'm on 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. But yeah, the, the camo, well, the challenge for the 100 kills and then exfil in a game is glitched. For some reason, for it to unlock, well, I'm not 100% on this, but every time I've been doing this, it's been unlocking. If, if you get the 100 kills and then go straight in this x build straight away, it gives you the challenge. But if you run around, if you like play a full, full game, it doesn't give you it. 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. Because this is another thing I wish that they had, is that I can actually like see an actual scoreboard so i know how many kills i'm on but since that's not a thing 50 52, I don't think I'm going to get 40 kills before the chopper comes. So I'm only on 60. Sixty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, three, four. That's 100 kills. I've got 100 kills. So now, wait for the chopper to come, exfil, and then it should unlock.
But obviously, it's not supposed to be like this because the game you just stay scare 100 kills with the weapon and then exfil with it in in basically one go in one mission. But I've got a feeling it might be because can it's both because of the exfil part. You need to exfil with the weapon. And I think it's like the game doesn't recognize like you've got it on when you play like a full game. Because also as well, when you pack a punch the weapon, it doesn't count the kills. So obviously that's clearly a glitch. Yes, it'll lock. So that is 100%. That's how you do it. That's how you get it. That's how you actually do it. You just need to exfil. Soon you get as soon as you start the game, get the hundred kills, exfil, and then it should unlock. So now I've done I've got all the gold. I've got all the melee weapons gold. I just need to get a hundred I need to get three hundred kills now whilst the weapons pack a punch. But I want to start from the list, from the back again to towards. But but look, when you go on to the, since these are the Modern Warfare three weapons, but you go on the Modern Warfare two melee weapons, it kicks you back to the main menu. Stop. 